Immediately after completing condensation, use the Explorer to separate the newly condensed amalgam from the matrix band. To define the contact area and marginal ridge, and to define the occlusal embrasure. This is done by resting the tip of the Explorer against the matrix band and moving the Explorer from the lingual proximal margin toward the buckle, stopping at the center of the box. Repeat this procedure again, this time starting from the buckle proximal margin. Use the beaver tail to remove excess amalgam from the occlusal surface without touching the cavo surface margin. Remove the matrix retainer. Holding the band in place with your finger, unscrew the matrix retainer and remove it from the band. Carefully remove the band from the tooth, except at the proximal surface that is being restored. Fold the band back away from the tooth at this area. Occlusal carving is started when the amalgam shows some resistance to the carving instrument. Use an explorer, discoid, or cleoid to test the amalgam for resistance. Angle the cleoid so that the tip rests in the area where the secondary groove will be and the side rests against the remaining tooth structure of the cusp. The instrument is inclined so that the existing tooth structure can help shape the amalgam, thus restoring the natural occlusal anatomy. Occlusal carving is done with a pull stroke. However, the push stroke can also be suitable in developing occlusal anatomy. Form the distal and mesial pits first, followed by the buccal and lingual grooves. Once occlusal anatomy is complete, use a moist cotton pellet to smooth the occlusal surface of the amalgam. Carefully remove the matrix band by rotating it and sliding it out of place. Place the tip of the explorer against the adjacent tooth with the blade resting on the existing tooth structure of the tooth's proximal surface and use a shaving motion from cervical to occlusal to shape the proximal surface and remove any excess amalgam. Use one of these instruments to also remove any excess amalgam from the cervical region to define the gingival cavo surface margin. Proximal carving should define both the occlusal and gingival embrasures.